So way back in Christmas 1993, issue 54 of Amiga Format, this game was on the cover disc. Now this is Canon Soccer, and this is a special Christmas play on Canon Fodder and Sensible Soccer. And it came free with the other cover disc, which was Jam or had something like that on it. And I've never actually played this version, so I thought as the festive season was rapidly approaching and I have done absolutely no videos on Christmas or anything related to that, it was time to have a quick play of this and see what it's like. Okay, so here we are with the Amiga Format Christmas Special of Cannon Fodder, or Cannon Soccer, as it's called. Now, I would say that I have no idea what I'm doing with this version because I've never played it. But I have just played it a few minutes ago because my bloody computer defaulted to the microphone on the video camera or webcam, and it's a pile of crap and it sounded terrible, so I am recording it in... Uh, why not? Well, it's Christmas. Why, why not to record it twice? Yeah, I, got, I bought this webcam for uh, the Christmas special with uh, the other day on with um, Slopes Game Room and Larry Bundy and Kim Justice and that lot. Um, and it's obviously changed all the defaults, but never mind. This is the game which came with Amiga Format issue, was it 53 or 54 on the cover disc? And. Yeah, it kind of, this was a time after Sensible Software had made Sensible Soccer, that came out in 1992, but it was at a time when they just released Sensible Soccer 92 slash 93 and Cannon Fodder. So this was a bit of promotional material for the, those games and it was a nice cover disc. And you know, this was a time when cover discs were still incredibly exciting. I loved getting cover discs, especially after getting cover tapes for my Spectrum with your Sinclair and Sinclair user. The, the, the cover tape wars where you got full games and all sorts on them. Getting a disc was even more exciting for me. Something about the disc media, it's just, it just feels durable and I don't know, it just, I, I love it, I love it. So, this, this game, the aesthetic is you are uh, based around a football pitch in this particular chapter. And you have to kill footballers, which sounds pretty good fun to me. And there's also a pretty nasty helicopter, there it is, which flies about and chucks vicious explosives at you and it's quite hard to... Yeah, you see what I mean, it's quite hard to get away from. And the only time you can destroy that helicopter, I believe, is where it lands. It occasionally lands on the midway point of the football pitch. but. It's not an easy game, to say the least. I guess that's kind of what you wanted. You know, I used to love getting the Christmas uh, issues of magazines, of Mega Format. And you want a game which kind of is hard. You know, it's not a long game, but it provides you with enough entertainment to get through to Christmas when you get your proper games, hopefully, for Christmas. So, yeah, this is... I, I'd never played this until earlier. And I love Cannon Fodder. Cannon Fodder is such a great game with its simplicity. You know, it seems more complicated than it actually is. Really, it's just you point and move and fire. That is essentially it. There are tactics involved. Obviously, you need tactics, otherwise you die like this. You can split your team, for example. You can pick different weapons. Uh, it's a great game. It is absolutely amazing in its simplicity. Like a lot of the Sensible Software games, Sensible Soccer, great game. I mean, I'm not one to talk about football games because my favourite football game is World Cup Italian 90. Um, mainly for the music and uh, it was just fun. It was one of the first Mega Drive games I played. I just I just really like it. Yeah, I, just, I, I know it's a crap game, but I, just, I still like it. I love it. I like these top-down games, isometric games, top-down tactical games. It just takes you out of your human existence, doesn't it, to a different perspective. Okay, okay. Okay, I believe there's... I don't know if these footballers have got any weapons, I don't think they have. We can get in this gun and we can use it to shoot things, but we don't really want to do that because... 
uh, we get killed by the helicopter. We want to take these houses out because these are like bases in Gaunt. In, in they spawn enemies. We want to blow the door off so we can stop them from coming out entirely. Oh, they have got guns. They have footballers with guns. That sounds like a much better game to me. Alright, I've got some explosives over here. Collect said explosives. No, I don't want to use them particularly. That was a bit of a mistake. I didn't play it for long last time. I played it for about 10 minutes on my previous video, which you won't ever see. So... I haven't reached the heights of my former glory of cannon fodder play, which was never that great to be honest, but certainly better than now. Yep, that's blowing the door off. You're only supposed to blow the bloody doors off. And if you want any more Christmas impressions then, don't call me. Alright, I think we have to destroy all the houses and then get that bastard chopper. Let's see if we can do this. You die. You are not necessary. Oh, I can hear it's landed. No, it hasn't. Oh, God. Get away from the bombs! Oh, God, so close. So close. It's like, it's like a reverse desert strike, isn't it? Oh, another great game with an isometric top-down perspective. I miss those games so much. Okay, let's go on to chapter two. Now, chapter two is very much like chapter one, but it's a more conventional cannon fodder style level, but it does still have that bloody helicopter, which is infuriating. Let's go. Yeah, I have to apologize for the lack of videos the past week. I was ill last week, and that has put me out quite a bit, it's put me behind. Along with all the festive things you have to do at Christmas, like buy presents, stuff like that, you know, things which we're supposed to do because our society has done it for many years. Still, I do like getting presents, especially if they are um, retro game related. So, it's fine. But that, that means the Amiga Part 2 video is a bit delayed. Uh, should be up over Christmas sometime, hopefully. I'll probably work on Christmas Day on it because... I do love... ...to make them. I have got my Christmas boxes out, baby. Nostalgia boxes for Patreon. So I'm pleased about that. And um, some people have received them already, so that is good. I'm very happy about that. I put a lot of love and dedication into those boxes. And of course, I would, because these people are, you know, you're helping me do what I love to do. So I will put a lot of love into the rewards. Um, anyway, I should be back, in track, back on track over Christmas with videos and stuff like that. If I don't get caught up playing games like this too much. God damn it! Got no rockets. Oh, this is going to be a bit tricky. Uh -huh, come on! Oh, he's like a skating over the ice. You can sod off. You... How do I get up there? Uh, I need some rockets to fire up there, don't I? I can't. There isn't a way of getting up the cliff. Oh, yes, there is. There we go. I'm not going to be able to take that base out, though. Not easily. Holy moly. There's some, I saw some explosives over there. Oh, I can get them to take themselves out. Excellent work. That will do nicely. Get out of there! Oh no, the bloody helicopter bombed me when I was in the gun turret. Disastrous. Disastrous. Um, I plan doing a couple more videos this week, hopefully. Um, let's try this one again. Not sure what on. I've got some festive videos from last year if you want to watch some Christmas videos. I did one on the Soft Aid story, which was the charity compilation which came out for the Spectrum and the Commodore 64 in the 80s to tie in with, um, uh, what, what, was, what was that thing called? That, that Christmas music thing. Live Aid. Band Aid. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what my videos are like from last year. I mean, some of them were terrible. 
some of the videos I've done this year are terrible. But um, if you want some festiveness, then you could watch them. Or you can watch other people's videos, I guess. Of course. I'm really looking forward to Kim Justice's Christmas special video. I've recorded a bit of footage for it. That is terribly exciting. Uh, we'll try that one one more time, and then I think we'll call it a day because because this is it is it's hard. I'm not going to do it in this amount of time. <sighs> cover discs. I need to make a video on cover discs, cover software, because it used to. I used to be so excited by it. Cover tapes. I don't know. It was just some. I just. I loved magazines, like computing magazines, gaming magazines. And having what seemed like free software, because I used to read the magazine from cover to cover as well, it was just such a bonus. Like most of my software collection was pretty much made of cover tapes and cover discs. Oh, where's my other guy? Oh, come on, drops! Come on, drops! Come on, you can do it, mate! Get out of there, drops! Just you left. I've got faith in you. Get away from the nasty helicopter, man. That's it. Oh, he's dead. Anyway, that's Christmas for you. You have a bit of fun and everyone dies. So, I hope you uh, have a lovely Christmas if you don't hear from me before then. I mean, I'll make some more videos, I, I hope. But if you don't watch them, have a great Christmas. If you do watch them, I'll talk to you then. And yeah, uh, Amiga Part 2 is coming, trust me, it takes a lot of work, and um, that's what I'll be doing over Christmas. Anyway, thanks for watching this short quick play, and I will see you soon. Goodbye.